unless I have to. So there was another formula that we remember that helps us, which was our Pythagorean identity. So typically, we'll be solving for t. But in this example, we can use our cosine, um, our trigonometric identity. Because remember, again, to write the, write the equation, um, when we're eliminating the parameter, we're trying, to write the pro we're trying to write the equation without t, correct? We don't want t anymore. So what we notice is, if I can replace cosine of t with what it's equal to, which in this case is x over 7 and y over 7. So I just write x over 7 squared, because you guys agree x over 7 is equal to cosine of t, plus y over 7 squared equals 1. Now when I square that, you have to square the numerator and square the denominator. x squared over 49 plus y squared over 49 equals the 1. That's perfectly fine. However, our equation of a circle, if you guys remember, was x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So we should write it in that format, at least get used to it, because next chapter we're going to be doing this. So I multiply by 49 on both sides, and I get x squared plus y squared equals 49. And therefore, I know my radius is going to be equal to 7.